Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Environment Canada meteorologist David Jones with a weekend update on the pending Arctic outbreak. Let's take a closer look. I forgot. I'm at home. The future clouds is a forecast of the clouds as seen by one of our weather models. It's much like the satellite imagery you see on TV weathercast, except that the future clouds is showing what's about to happen, not what has happened. Focus on the Gulf of Alaska. As we roll into the future, you can clearly see the swirling Arctic vortex moving south. By Monday morning at about 4 a.m., the vortex, or low in the upper atmosphere, is somewhere in the vicinity of northern Vancouver Island. The atmosphere is becoming exceptionally dynamic as this massive troublemaking weather system develops, and there's no stopping it. The pattern change is 100% predictable. The challenge lies in forecasting the micro-scale details, how much rain and snow falls, where, and when the transition to snow occurs, and of course, the winds. Here's the forecast map for 1600 hours or 4 p.m. today. A cold Pacific front is set to sweep down the coast, and it's packing quite a bundle of moisture. As the animation rolls, you'll see the bulk of the precipitation crosses the south coast, producing heavy snow in the mountains. Some of our models are suggesting 50 to 70 centimeters, but we're more comfortable with 35 centimeters as a forecast for the mountains, right now anyway. By Sunday at 2200 or 10 p.m., a broad open area of low pressure is apparent across southern BC. It's not clear exactly where the low will end up. That's unfortunate because the position of the low is critical to the weather outcomes, what happens and where. Whatever the case, the area of low pressure will draw the Arctic front southward. It's coming, and snow will fall near and along it. The tight packing of the isobars suggests strong winds, so blowing snow and near zero visibility is likely. Further south, near the low, conditions have become quite messy by this time. Wet snow with accumulations are likely Sunday across the southern interior. The snow will be mixed with rain or entirely rain in some areas, but will change to snow everywhere as the colder air seeps in. A variety of warnings are quite likely for Sunday and perhaps Monday. As we move toward Monday at 10 p.m., clearing from the north occurs and the Arctic front moves offshore. The whole province is covered by Arctic air by this time. High pressure over the interior and lower pressure along the front combine to create a strong pressure gradient along the coast again, as shown by the tightly packed isobars. The strong pressure gradient will ease as the week progresses, so the frigid outflow winds, especially in the eastern Fraser Valley and Howe Sound, will eventually ease. The Arctic air, however, is not going anywhere, but at least the wind dies. Here's the timeline. On Saturday, the last of the Pacific storms crosses the coast. On Sunday, the Arctic front blasts the central interior. On Monday, the Arctic air reaches the southern interior in the morning and the south coast in the afternoon. On Tuesday through Friday, sunny cold weather prevails, but at least the wind on the coast starts to ease. Here's a look at the warnings currently in effect. In yellow, winter storm warnings are in effect for Haines Junction, Haines Road, Whitehorse, the South Klondike, Dees Lake, Muncho Lake, and Fort Nelson. In all of those areas, there will be snow and blowing snow, but most importantly, it's going to be brutally cold with a risk of frostbite. In red, snowfall warnings are already in effect for the BC Peace River, the Williston, and the McGregor, and those warnings will spread southward through the weekend. As per yesterday, we're sticking with more or less the same snowfall accumulation forecasts for the areas to the south of the currently warned areas. Little change here. Stay tuned for the forecasts, monitor the warnings, and watch the snowfall amounts in your area. That's it for today's weekend update. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and have a great evening.